Hi guys and welcome to our channel Only in Australia where you can find travel, adventure, food and culture that is unique to Australia's shores. come through the lobby, we're just going up the entrance tunnel now into the first gallery. Um, the kids have been running around like crazy out there. If you've got kids, it's a great place to come, there's plenty of space. We're just going to head up now into the first gallery. Let's go for a walk. Taxidermist, and uh, yeah, and as you can see there, the first one in the 1790s got to Europe, and people couldn't believe that um, an animal could have a beak and fur, and they actually thought it was a fake, but it was actually real. And yeah, they're native to Australia and live in lots of rivers, and um, yeah, and they're amazing creatures. Let's go. Listen, can you tell mommy what are they? Yeah. So this is wombat, right? Yeah. Do you mean what those? And this is a bat, isn't it? Fruit bat. What about this one, isn't it? Uh, chicken. This one is a chicken. Oh, it's frog. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Yeah. I know. So these things were, they probably just died naturally then and they preserved them so they don't rot the world. Mm -hmm. They just didn't stuff that germs can't live in. Oh, this is the koala spark anyway. Yeah. yeah. What it was. So it says here that um, this guy Mackenzie did research on koala upper bodies to work out how they could grip so strongly to a tree and when soldiers got hurt they used that research to make splints for their bodies. So look honey, trout and salmon were introduced from Europe and it was, uh, yeah, 1864. They tried for 20 years before and failed and then in 1864 they managed to get 100,000 salmon eggs into Australia that were alive and a thousand European brown trout eggs and they got them in the rivers and they survived. It's amazing. Yeah. So the introduction of a few rabbits could do little harm and might provide a touch of home in addition to a spot of hunting. That's what they thought in 1859 that rabbits destroyed a lot of farmland and uh, yeah, and in the end they ended up building massive fences, traps, lots of things, even introducing a disease to kill the rabbits, which now they're all immune to. So they were very overpopulated for a long, long time. Oh 
this baby poop minister. I'm afraid it's spreading. Going backwards now. Why are they going backwards? Well, because of the, uh, the cure for it. Why? Well, they spread the cure around a little bit. and the sheep had been lost from a farm for many, many years and uh, basically um, the sheep had overgrown its wool so it couldn't even lay down and get up again, they didn't think. So they, the RSPCA rescued the sheep and um, chopped off all the wool and this is the fleece from that sheep and named the sheep Chris and then Chris went to live on a, a farm uh, somewhere else, so pretty amazing. Oh, there's Chris. Not again. Good job. Hi guys, this is a uh, fire exhibit um, about bushfires in Australia. Bushfires travel extremely quickly. Um, there are warnings sent out these days by SMS to most people living in an area, but um, in 2003 a bushfire came through Canberra and it started on a tree that was hit by lightning out in the bush and they knew the tree was there but they didn't realise it was going to burst into flames one day and it did and the sparks caught the bush and the grass and basically a big wave of fire just ran into the side of the city in Western Creek and 550 houses were burnt down in a couple of days. It was horrific and uh, the world learned a lot about how fires work from that day um, and the embers were racing ahead in the wind in front of the fire and lighting things up and a fire truck blew up, a petrol station, there were schools burnt down, lots of things and it just showed that building up of grass and vegetation in the bush followed by a really hot summer was so dangerous and we were just lucky only four people died but it was a horrific day, I remember it, it looked like a, um, a nuclear explosion in the distance and there's just gas fires from people's houses coming out of the ground and houses were totally flat, just grey dust where bricks once were, so that's how hot it got and uh, yeah, a very scary day for the city indeed. Mm. 
thank you guys for watching our video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and share to keep us making more videos. Thank you. <laughs>